Hi Libra and welcome to your weekly reading. This is from March uh, 18th to March 24th, 2020. I hope that you're all doing well. I just want to say to all of you, uh, I want to thank all of you out there that has been giving a lot of prayers towards Ray, my mom, Sandy, myself and my family. Just know that we are also giving prayers to everybody on the collective and my mom does the rosary every day for my subscribers and everyone here on the collective. So I want to just give you up news that Ray is home with me now. And um, I will show them, I will show him to you in a second because I can't carry him in my other hand here, but I will show him in a second. So he's doing well and um, he's starting to recover. So I want to thank everybody here for all the love and support that you've been giving my channel. Thank you for all those that have been with me for a long time. For those of you that are just coming in, or are new to my channel, welcome to my platform. I am a psychic medium. I am active in my community now for 25 years and I channel messages from my higher self and the divine and I use the cards as a tool on YouTube to deliver the messages. So don't forget to subscribe and like, okay? And the layout of the reading will be that I will start with the singing bowl, okay? And then after that, I will use my smudge spray. Then after that, I'm gonna give you one oracle card then I will go into a tarot card reading with clarification. Then I will give you your what crystals to use, what frequency code or what the universe wants to tell you in the sacred geometry, and also your animal totem. And at the end, and I will give you one more oracle card. So um, yeah, so uh, I'll be right back with Ray. Hi Libra, I'm back. Okay, so we'll use the singing bowl. The reason why I use this is to clear my energy and my space and I will do the same thing for you all you need to do when I ring it is take a deep breath in okay and um, let go of anything that doesn't serve you so let's get started Perfect. Now I'll use the smudge spray. For those of you who want to buy this, you could buy on Etsy or anywhere on Instagram. They sell this, okay? So I will spray, of course, Archangel Michael. You don't see Archangel Raphael. He's right beside him. And this is Archangel Uriel. And the crystals, the angels, my sacred space, some for you and some for me. Mm, the fragrance is beautiful on this. Okay. Now, like I promised, one angel card for you to start off the reading. I'll be right back, I went flying. <laughs> Give me a second. You got Archangel Raphael, okay? This is the first time he went flying near my door. And the message is, the healing angel is with you supporting your healing work. Okay, so Archangel Raphael. Now, we'll start with the tarot cards. This reading is for Libra Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. But if you have any Libra placement on your chart, this could also be your reading. You might resonate with a few things, okay? I also have my soul sister, Jenny. Jenny Bur Burak. I, I hope I'm saying her name right. <laughs> um, she has a channel on YouTube called Soul... Uh, no, sorry, Astrology for Ascension. And she does a different type of um, work that other people don't do. And she's brilliant. She's also a healer. And so for those of you that do not understand, uh, let's say, uh, your birth chart, you don't understand why you're always going through a lot of karmic situations and you can't get rid of them and you don't know, what, and you're doing all the work and you need help, that's the person you should go see. You should check her out on YouTube, Astrology for Ascension. Jenny Barak, subscribe to her like her videos she is an extremely gifted uh soul sister of mine and uh everything will be underneath the video on how you can reach her okay so 
Uh, here we go. Okay. I will do the Celtic cross of uh, what situation, um, where you are at this moment, what lies beneath you, what lies above you, what lies in the past, what is coming for you in the immediate future. It may not resonate with you, but if it does resonate with you, you know, uh, don't forget to comment and like and share, okay? So let's get started for my beautiful Libras. Like I stated in the video previously for Gemini, what I'm doing is I put the air signs is one day. The next day will be the air. Uh, I will do the water signs, which is uh, Scorpio, Pisces, and Cancer. The third day will be the fire signs, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. And last but not least, the fourth day will be um, Capricorn, Virgo, and Taurus. Okay, so let's get started. Okay. Okay, so what lies, what is the, not lies, sorry, what is the root, uh, not root, sorry about that. <laughs> My thoughts are all over the place, but I'll try to stay contained. The overall energy is the magician reversed. I do feel someone around you, uh, Libra, before I show you the cards, okay, let me, because I'm connecting and I'm like, there's a lot of things coming to you. Remember, I'm a channeler. I'm not a reader. Uh, I do not relate the cards to the same way that maybe you will, but I'll show you the cards. I'm just picking up what I have to channel. I do feel that there's someone around you that is manipulating you. I feel like some of you are dealing with two people, okay, or you're probably dealing with one person that is like someone that, that, um, isn't speaking the truth or is withholding information from you. And I also feel that this person around you is some sort of manipulator, like telling you things that are not true, okay? So what's happening now, right now for you, okay, where you are right now is that you're suspended in the air. You're suspended, okay? Uh, this means that uh, there's a sacrifice here. Some of you are, are in this cocoon stage where you're going through a transformative state. Okay, um, you, you, you're seeing the signs and everything, but you're standing still. Because why? You know it's not the right time, right? What is crossing you in your challenge right now is the Ace of Swords energy. So the Ace of Swords, this is a challenge. Maybe that what it is, is that maybe some of you need to cut someone. This is cutting unhealthy situations, people. This is the universe coming in, creator coming in. To give you clarity on things that you did not have before. Something that was boggling your mind. Something that you couldn't understand will bring you that clarity. It's about a lot of communication. It's put. It's about putting your crown back up here. Okay? Your crown chakra, your third eye. You're all from, I feel, from your thro throat chakra. Your third eye, your crown to the divine is going to be opening up. Okay? Your spiritual abilities for a lot of you are going to be expanding. But it's going to be speaking the truth and cutting through the fog. And um, maybe some of you will be cutting out something, someone. What lies beneath you is the tower card. So something is rumbling here. And the tower card is the divine. Some of you have asked for a divine intervention. You asked for help. You wanted things different. You wanted positive changes. So that's what the divine does. It comes in. The universe comes in. And 
destroys anything that is not for your highest good. People, situations to put you on the right path. Maybe some of you is about losing a job. Maybe others of you is a partnership that you were not supposed to be in and you knew for a long time you had to leave. Whatever the case is, the tower is coming in to bring you unexpected change. It's going to bring you unexpected change, but it's positive change, though it might feel a bit uncomfortable but because nobody likes change. Uh, it's also about, um, not only it's about that, it's about um, um, liberation and it's going to be very powerful. What lies uh, past you is uh, the Knight of Swords energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy here, your energy, this could be someone else. Or you're coming in to give the truth to a, a situation or a person, bring truthfulness, okay, and clarity, or someone is, someone is coming towards you. Okay, some of you maybe already felt, already met, uh, had this conversation, or some of you will have the conversation. What lies above you is the Page of Wands. Divine timing is here. It's all coming in together, and it's going to come in boom, 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 fast. Okay, so uh, divine timing is here, meaning the doors are starting to open up. You've seen the signs, you know what's coming. Page of Wands also talks about a beginning, maybe passion, a passionate beginning that's going to take place for you with an individual. Or this could be also you yourself. Again, you may be dealing with a Leo, uh, Sagittarius or Aries energy. And what's coming before, what's coming before you um, or coming very near to you is the Knight of Wands. Again, Sagittarius, Leo or Aries energy. Uh, this is someone that's very passionate, very adventurous, you know, and but they're very restless too, okay? So they don't always stay in the same place, but they're very passionate people, very caring people. And uh, in the seventh position, which is uh, what it is now, suggesting what this is suggesting you, is the devil card. So some of you are dealing with a Capricorn energy. This could also be the planets that are in Capricorn right now that are very like Saturn and, and Jupiter. Uh, this talks about a lot of fears and insecurities. Uh, you bo being bonded to something that's being bonded to something that's toxic. It doesn't have to be alcohol and drugs. It could be anything that you are spending too much time on, and uh, that is it's like an almost like an obsession. Um, this talks about um, unhealthy situations or people around you, people that are toxic, people that you're bonded to. What is around you and what you need to know is that you have the seven of swords now or this is you that's withholding information from someone or someone is withholding information from you the seven of swords is not always a good card sometimes it means also not to say anything but we'll go deeper into the reading in the ninth position you've got the chariot card maybe so you're dealing with a cancer sagittarian this is that you're hoping to move forward okay some of you are suspended waiting but you're waiting to move forward. You're hoping that you can move forward and take control of the situation, okay? Uh, this is very positive, like it's an ending of a conflict or something that was conflict in your life. And the last card you got is the Four of Wands energy. So uh, this talks about um, this talks about uh, an offer that's being made for you to you. There's a proposal, an offer, a friendship, maybe uh, moving in together. It could also be marriage for some of you. Uh, if not, it's some type of completion in a home, buying a home, selling a home, that type of situation. Okay, so now we're going to go deeper into the reading and see what else is going on. Okay, <laughs> sorry again for the interruption. I'm back. Let's look at the hangman. So one, two, three. So some of you are waiting for someone. With the two of cups energy here and the world reversed and the nine of swords reversed okay there's something that's not completed yet so with the hangman it talks about two people coming in together cancer scorpio pisces it doesn't have to be it has it could be an emotional something emotional that's coming towards okay some of you are waiting for someone okay there's an energy of waiting or being in suspense about this individual whatever it is but it's not completed. There's something that's not completed here. And you've got the Nine of Swords reversed, which is a good thing, meaning that you're starting to think positive about the situation, okay? You're seeing some type of enlightenment about the situation. So now I'm gonna ask you why, I'm gonna, I, I'm gonna see why the Two of Cups is here, okay? And the Hangman. Why is the Two of Cups here with the Hangman? One card, four cups, seven. 
So uh, I feel like at this moment, some of you, if this doesn't have to be with a partnership. It could be also with a friend, a co-worker, a family member, whatever it is that resonates with you. Some of you are reevaluating a situation or reevaluating some type of proposal or some type of something that some of you um, maybe had a proposal, not a proposal, but you had uh, some type of um, a cup coming towards you. Um, an opportunity okay so a lot of you are reevaluating the situation and but it's not completed yet so let's see why the world is reversed here for you okay okay well what i see here okay there's two 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 on the ground so maybe some of you have been seeing two 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 maybe that has to do with the situation that what you were thinking of so some type of decision that has to be made, some type of someone has to talk. There has to be some type of decision or some type of communication that has to take place here because some of you are not seeing the situation for what it really is. This is someone from the past. It could be a soulmate, twin flame, okay, or just feelings of the past that are arising. And you got the two of wands energy where some of you, there is someone coming in, sharing the same vision, uh, looking into the future, making short-term plans. Like, okay, you know, like maybe you're not there yet, but you're making those plans. It's just that you have to get out of that negative thought. But there is some type of communication that has to take place here. So something is not completed. Now we're going to look at the Ace of Swords energy. This is what is challenging you at this time. The Ace of Swords. So let's look at the Ace of Swords energy here. We'll take three cards for that. One two and three okay with the ace of swords you got the nine of cups the sun card and the nine of wands so 99 is on the ground the ace of swords comes in with the nine of cups wishing upon you've been wishing upon something okay and the sun card appearing is which is one of the most positive cards in the deck it's all about positive energy and positive uh, vibrations. So anything that's positive, anything that's happy and positive, like peace, happiness, joy, contentment, love, happiness, laughter. And this is the universe, okay, that's going to spring you forward uh, because it's agreeing on your path and it will bring you forward beyond your expectation with the sun card. So you're, you know, it's, it's a very, this could be a soulmate energy. And you've got the nine of wands. So the nine of wands means that You've been through a lot. You've been through a lot. These are all the ones of your experiences, and you're still standing. And you're, you're, you. Some of you are going to be moving forward, or this is a person that you're dealing with that has a very strong fire energy in them. That they will be pushing forward, or you will be pushing forward. Okay, meaning that nothing's going to stop you. Now let's look at. Um, oh, and you also got the ten of wands. So it's an ending that's taking place where you've been carrying a lot on your shoulders. So you got the nine and the 10 here so you did move forward and you are going to be ending a situation or situations of your past where you were carrying along your shoulders now let's look at the tower card this is what lies beneath you okay so why is the tower card here okay we got eight of pentacles reversed the five of wands reversed and the three of swords reversed so this tower card it's a change that for the positive, very much positive, because the three of swords reversed, the five of swords reversed, removing yourself from any drama, okay, people, situations that were fighting, drama, gossip, and the three of swords reversed, your heart chakra will not be affected by this when the tower comes in. With the eight of pentacles, some of you are giving up on a situation completely, but it's as if you healed it already. So we're going to take what, one more card for that. What is Eight of Pentacles, the Three of Swords reversed, and the Five of Wands. Give me one more card for that. Yeah, so whatever the situation is, whatever the tower is coming in, it's coming in, okay, to remove a situation or something in the past, whether that could be with work or your with work, but you're not going to be affected by the tower card with the Three of Wands reversed, Okay. You're not going to be affected by your heart chakra. You want this change to come in with the tower. Now let's look at the Knight of Swords energy. Why is the Knight of Swords here? You've got the star card. 
the Page of Cups, and the Three of Pentacles. Okay, so I feel like there's two messages coming in from two different people, or there's someone that's remo being removed from you, where someone's going to be coming in. Okay, and by having the Star card, it could be an Aquarius energy, or this is uh, your dreams coming true, wishing upon that star. Okay, a, a blessing and a healing will be taking place for you. Um, Aquarian energy, page of cups energy. Uh, this is a beginning. Pages are all about new beginnings. Okay, um, there's an offer here friendship, love. Okay, there is an offer that's emotional here with the three of pentacles. It shows me that, uh, whether this is love or work, whatever it is that's coming to you with this message, it will bring stability in a relationship, in a company, in a business, or in a partnership. Okay, it's very strong. Now, let's look at the Page of Wands energy here for you. Why is the Page of Wands here? Again, I will take out three cards. Page of Wands, Page of Wands. One, two, three. So, Page of Wands talks about the fours. Okay, there's uh, the Four of Swords. Where is it? Here it is. Four of Swords energy. So... While you're waiting, some of you are on a break maybe from something or someone or work. Um, while you're waiting, you're receiving all the messages. Uh, there's a time of meditation and taking care of oneself here. Or just really like releasing your thoughts from all negative. Like releasing all negative thoughts so you can be in the positive to hear what the universe has to say to you. Um, there is something that's coming to you faded. It's your destiny. But you have to make a judgment. There's a judgment call here. You know, weighing the pros and the cons. There's something that you need to make a decision about. Whatever this comes in for you. Because some of you are struggling. You're being pulled in too many different directions. Or you're being pulled in two different directions here. You, something needs to be dropped. Or a job, a career that you need to go with your path. Or this could be a situation or a person. Okay? And I need to be grounded, Libra. So let's look at the Knight of Wands energy. And I'm going to take out three cards for this as well. Okay, is that the Queen, the Page, the Queen of Wands, the Page of Swords, and the Emperor. Strong energy here. You have a lot of fire energy here. A lot of fire energy. So you got the Knight of Swords, right? Someone coming in as a Knight. You also got the Emperor, Aries energy. It doesn't have to be Aries, but it could be. This could be a father figure energy, someone that is coming in to protect you, more like a father figure. You know, maybe they're going to be older than you. It doesn't have to be. This could also talk about stability, uh, some type of promotion that's coming in that's going to bring me a, some type of commitment, marriage, or not just commitment in, in a relationship. It could just be uh, a commitment period, like, uh, you know, in, in business, or it's about you having everything under control. Or the person that you're dealing with is like that. But it's also setting up new boundaries and new rules as well. Okay. And then I got the Queen of Wands energy. This could be your energy, Libra, that you are in this energy. This is a strong feminine energy. She is courageous. She is optimistic. She is generous. She is truthful. Um, you know, very, be very beautiful energy here. Or you're dealing this. I feel that this is you. That, that you're embodying the Queen of Wands. And you got the Page of Swords. So the page, again, is about new beginnings. And this, what I'm feeling here, is that there is some type of communication that started. Okay? Uh, some of you are trying to figure out, I don't know who this message is for, if this person is really playing your emotions or not. But there is a beginning of some sort of communication with someone younger here as well. Very chatty, very communicative. Okay? Now, uh, let's look at the Devil card. You got the Six of Wands energy, the Page of Pentacles, and the Eight of. Okay, so whoever this is, this could be Capricorn energy you have. If this is an unhealthy situation, whatever it is, I feel that this has to do with uh, finances for you, Libra. Okay, for some of you, this has to do with Saturn and Jupiter in Capricorn in finances because why because i got the six of sword the uh, wands sorry which talks about being successful or you're meeting someone that is very successful 
with the eight of wands okay that talks about where uh, there's a lot of communication a lot of passionate communication here um you know like through text message um social media and the page of pentacles okay which uh, pages again are about new beginnings there's some type of stability or uh, coming in for you okay money stability or something that's solid now let's look at the seven of swords because this card why is the seven of swords here why is the seven of swords here you got temperance reversed the four of pentacles and five of swords hmm I don't like this energy around you, Libra. Whoever the Seven of Swords energy is, could be a Sagittarius, it doesn't have to be. Uh, someone that's very impatient, very impatient. Uh, this has to do with maybe monetary, or someone not wanting to open, or wanting to, uh, wanting to give, or lacking of. But the Five of Swords energy, and the Seven of Swords energy, Someone here is planning to backstab you. This is like what you need to know. Or it could be cheating for some of you or uh, not being there for your highest good. So I will take out more cards for that. Why is the Five of Swords energy here? Seven of Cups reversed. The strength. Some of you are dealing maybe with a Leo. Some type of marriage. Some type of commitment. Okay, there's something here. With the elephant, the strength card reversed. Someone doesn't have the courage to come forward here. And the seven of cups uh, reversed. Yeah, it's like uh, throwing away something. Okay, now let's look at the seven of swords. The seven of swords, yeah. Why is the seven of swords here? Eight, six of pentacles. Okay, so whatever, whoever this is, whether this is a love, okay, if this has to do with love or partnership in business whatever it could be a family a sibling whatever a relative a friend co-worker whatever you give is not going to come back to you it's really off balance okay um it's really off balance and but i feel it has to do with a queen of pentacles taurus virgo or capricorn this has to do with work for some of you so i need you to watch your back i need you to watch your back with the uh, with these energies there it could be with work doesn't have to be it could be with someone that um yeah i'm picking up here that they don't have the someone doesn't have the courage to say the truth about a situation and you know they're not for your highest good okay so be on the lookout for that and then we're going to go to the chariot card why is the chariot here the moon reversed which is good the ace of cups reversed and the ten of pentacles reversed okay so, Ten of Pentacles reversed. There's a delay here because of the hangman, right? You've got the Ace of Cups. So, there's some type of stability, some type of love that did not take place for you or you thought that took place but did not take place for you. You've got the Moon reversed, which could be... Net, uh, this is the Neptune uh, energy with Pisces, meaning that you are releasing the fears. There's some type of fear you're releasing maybe about love, maybe about stability. There's something that you're releasing here unusual dreams that are taking place okay uh deceptions illusions things are invading you and a lot of you will be moving forward okay moving forward now let's look at the four of wands energy four of wands energy here three cards the fool so there's a new beginning taking place the empress reversed and the five of pentacles reversed hmm so, with this Four of Wands and the uh, Fool card, there is a new beginning that's taking place in your home. Some type of proposal. Something is coming in for you, okay? We know that. The Five of Pentacles reversed with the Empress reversed. It means something that did not come into fruition. Something about finances for some of you, okay? We're going to take a look a bit deeper into that. Why the Empress reversed and the Five of Pentacles is here. For you what is the meaning of this what does this mean what does this mean for libra well whatever it is you've got the ten of cups energy so it's very good so the five of pentacles me could be past tense that a long time ago 
you were going through some trouble with money, where you lost money, and something didn't come to fruition. But with the Ten of Cups energy that's ending it, this is a very positive card. She talks about new beginning and emotions, um, two people coming together, sharing their emotions, happy life, happy wife, happy husband, boyfriend, girlfriend, uh, just a sense of happiness and joy. This is a soulmate energy that's coming in for you. A soulmate energy. Okay. It's about happiness and contentment. Now, there's one thing that um, I need to ask is the, the I want to ask what about the Erickson cards. Um, what is, uh, I need to go back on that one, okay? They told me. So let me go back that there for you. What is the elephant all about? Yeah, so it has to do uh, maybe uh, with a union, twin flame, a lover. Or if that's not it, it uh, could be a friend, a co-worker, like I said. But uh, usually it's a twin flame or a lover that did not come forth, okay? Uh, there's some type of separation, some type of decision that was made over here and what's the end result of all this what's the end result of all this one more card yeah secret has been out so some of you already know about the secret or something is coming towards you okay um yeah some type of secret that took place something got revealed so let's look at the magician reversed you got the death reversed scorpio energy something someone is resisting a change why is the magician and the death card reversed the queen of swords reversed with the king of wands reversed okay so you've got four cards reversed and that's the way it is sometimes the cards reversed means good sometimes they don't so you got the magician reversed someone's resisting change or transformation to take place you got the Queen of Swords reversed and the King of Wands reversed. Remember, I have also the Queen of Wands upright here. Someone is very angry here. These two cards together are no good. They're no good together. If this is uh, two different people or energy-wise, someone cut off somebody. Maybe you cut off somebody completely out of uh, your life. Uh, someone that's very angry, very uh, irrational, they can't think straight, uh, very angry, very confused, uh, or and cut like completely. Okay, and what it's showing me is that you're going to rise above the situation. So, with the Seven of Wands, you're rising already above the situation. Perfect. Now, let's take a look at uh, what your animal spirit is for this week. And you got <clears throat> you got the dragon. <coughs> The dragon sees everything. Its essence has been with us since before our first breath and will be there at our last. It watches us navigate the external world as well as our inner world. When dragon energy is awakened, we are courageous, visionary, and can easily drop into witness consciousness. It is almost as if we are traveling with a great friend inside of ourselves. When we look in the mirror, deep into our eyes, we may even glimpse the self behind the self, the one who is watching us. This is the power of the dragon, breathing transformative fire into every cell of our bodies, witnessing this uh, omnipotent energy, even for a brief moment, helps us surrender and let go. We let the dragon guide us, and we hop, hop on its back for a ride, and as we tra travel even the most different terrain, the dragon's eyes see beauty everywhere. It is said that if a yogi does not see beauty in the world, their an an agni is dim. Agni is, hold on, described as the inner fire or sacred intelligence. May even just the mention of the dragon steer the embers of intelligence within you, the dragon and the third chakra. The soul energy of the dragon lives at the navel center in the Man Manipura chakra. Manipura translates to the city of hidden gems and behind its, great, its gates burns the fire of our transformation and digestion. The sages believe health of the fire at the navel center is what go governs our ability to clearly see both 
the inner and outer dimensions. So your animal totem for this week is the dragon. Okay, beautiful. What crystals should you use this week? Well, the first card you got is Labyrinth, and it says to take action. This is a chakra that's related to the third eye and crown. And the uh, crystal meanings of this card is allows you to connect to the mystery and magic of life. Number two, assists in awakening the magic of your soul. Number three, brings deep awareness of your spiritual knowledge, allowing it to manifest in your day-to-day -day life. Four, beings brings spiritual insight. Five, supports you to integrate spiritual experience into the physical world. And the last one opens and activates the third eye. Okay, so this is one of them. And the next card you got is Selenite, Spiritual Awakening. This is the crown chakra. And crystal meaning are works as a vacuum cleaner to purify and cleanse the aura, opens and simulates the crown chakra, bringing in the divine light of the cosmos, allows you to move forward in strength and connects you to your higher self and I am presence. So, uh, like I said, you could uh, use, uh, if you have the... If you do have the crystals, you can use them. I do have a link underneath where you can get 10% off, okay, uh, of crystals. Or you could just buy the cards, okay, on Amazon, the crystal reading cards. And these cards are powerful, okay, as much as if you buy a crystal. So you could place them on your chakras where you do your meditation, where you carry them with you during the day. So you have labyrinth and selenite. These are your crystals of the week. Now let's look at the sacred geometry for those of you that want to buy this. Okay, on it's a, called Phoenix Gateways. These are very. This is a very powerful book as well. Everything will be underneath the video where you could buy the products. Okay, so um, the first card you got is number thirty-three, and this is your card, and it says believe, have faith. Okay, and the practical application of this card is. Belief is about having confidence in yourself and knowing your truth. Having faith in the uh, existence of something out there will work for you and help guide you. Feel with your heart and trust your gut. You have a knowing of what is right. Take some time to center yourself. Go within your heart and into your uh, belief system. Ask yourself, does this feel right? Am I on track? What is it I need to change to make it right? We are all connected to the all. Okay, so from the great uh, cosmos to inner core of the earth, our perception and intentions are strong. While we, what we put out there is what we receive back. Believe in yourself and trust your knowing. Card numerology is a 33. And the crystals that you may need for this card, if you want to work with, okay, is the rose quartz. Okay, citron or pink tourmaline. Again, rose quartz, citron. And pink tourmaline will be extra crystals if you will need them, okay? And the next card you got is number 30. So you got 330 or 0333. And this is intuition and wisdom. Okay, so the practical application of this card is through the practice of meditation, working with crystals, eating healthier, having regular integrated healing sessions to name a few and um ridding yourself of energies or people that no longer serve your needs you will start to enhance your ability to work at a high vibrate high vibration level while focusing on your intention of awakening your sixth sense and opening your third eye and crown to allow for a direct link to spirit and heightening your intuition Use the sound LA. This frequency on a cellular level will reawaken and reactivate the DNA that once lay dormant. Once activated, your life will begin to change in ways you didn't expect. People surrounding sounds, taste, and smell will all start to seem different. Work with the color indigo when using this frequency. And the card numerology is a six. And the crystals that you will be needing is amethyst okay, mold and moldavite. So amethyst and moldavite. And so what you do is that you go on YouTube and you write down 582 hertz and it will show you a series of um, frequencies, videos, 
You could choose one for half an hour, one for an hour, and you can even sleep with this frequency, which is awesome for nine hours. So uh, this is great. Okay, that's your uh, cards. And now I will take out a card from the universe. You know, I really love these cards. And uh, this is for you, Libra. They're light, they're funny, they're quirky, but it gets straight to the point. So what does the universe want to tell Libra here? You've got, you've got time. You've got time. Ever wonder what would make life's fleeting pain and sorrow totally and unquestionably worth it? How about living forever, wildly in love and loved wildly? You have so much to look forward to, the universe. You've got time. That's your card for today. Okay? So, for this week. So I hope that you enjoyed the reading. Again, I really apologize for the interruptions. I don't plan that. If my dogs start barking and the doorbell rings, most of the situations happens all the time. And uh, so anyways, don't forget to like, share, comment. Let me know how you feel. Know that I have your back and I love you. And I'll see you next week. Bye.